<clears throat> Good morning. Now we're out here on a covert operation to try to take the patio back from the dogs. You see, for months, there hasn't been any action out here except for the dogs being taken to their park and they roamed very freely. Now, you see this sign just before I came? A woman was letting her dog go on this big piece when she should have brought her dog over and gone here. Now that's an example of dog owners getting entirely out of control. And so it's up to good citizens like me. Here I am dressed for the operation, the covert operation. It's like undercover. And I am matching. I always match. So I'm okay to try to catch dog owners right in the act, doing something illegal and not to be desired. And now, dog owners are peculiar creatures. They think, they begin to think their dogs are some of the most important animals on earth. Probably as important as humans. Uh, but I, I, I just can't agree. I can't agree. I had a man ask me not long ago, why didn't I get a dog? At 85, I'm supposed to get up, go, take my dog out whenever he wants to go. I said, no, I'm to, I need to reserve my strength and energy that I have left for my grandchildren. Well, grandchildren, true, I don't see them very often, but when I see them, I need to be full of vim and vigor, because I used to bring my grandchild over here to tend one day a week. And oh, what a terrible little wild cuss he was. I could hardly keep up with him. I had to get a leash and put him on it. So, and the way I got him to do the leash was to tell him, look, look at all the dogs in here. You can pretend to be a dog if you wear this leash. And he said, okay, Grandma. He was about three. So he got into the leash. Now his mother didn't really like that, that I kept her little precious son on a leash. But I'd take him to the park. He'd run away. I couldn't catch him. And I had to take him up to Margaret Hance Park all the time. And so here we go me in Margaret Hance Park, and little kids would have to come up to me and say, do you want us to catch him? I'd say, yes, please, would you? So they drag him back. And then I brought him to this pool over here. Right over here. And we attempted, and you know, his parents had been taught him very well about predators, so he was quite suspicious of Westward Ho residents, and he hadn't seen a man for quite a while, and he said, aren't you going to give me a hug? And he kind of shied away, and the resident said, I thought you liked me. And Dante said, well, not that way. Me, I'm going like, oh, oh. <laughs> so you see, dogs never say funny things like that. They, they don't. They just bark. And I've tried to convince dog owners that grandchildren do have something to offer. They are interesting. And we should pay more attention to them. We just 
shouldn't get that carried away with our dogs that we can't even treat humans. Uh, now my, my son, Raymond, he has a wonderful dog for him, and I love that dog. And I'm glad that Raymond has had a dog to help him through his medical problems, his, but I said, I don't think we're, I'm going to get any grandchildren from his relation, you know, well, just, you know. And so I, I just try to recommend to all dog owners that try not to get so passionate about your dog that you decide dogs are more important than humans. And I've been rejected now because I didn't get a dog in favor of this gentleman, uh, as in favor of uh, dog, owners, dog owners. Well, <clears throat> that hurts, but I had to choose between dogs and humans. Oh boy, oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is, I love this dog, Skittle. He is very smart, isn't he? If you, uh, does he still go get toys? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, this dog. He, now, he's a very smart dog. He goes and gets, she tells him to go get a toy, and he gets it. <laughs> yes, Skittles, we're talking about you. But I gotta get ready because I gotta go to school. Oh, okay. All right, she needs to go by me. Tomorrow morning I'll bring her out. Oh, okay. She loves Okay. <laughs> I already toured this uh, patio yesterday, but I'm yeah. out here again this morning. Uh, yeah. uh, there's three rabbits that live in the park, and there's one that plays with her. The youngest one. Oh, yeah. She said, the well, there's lots of dogs in here, right. and Skittles is one of my oh, favorite because yeah. he is so oh, yeah, smart. Oh, yeah. She grew up here. Yeah. 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 And oh, yeah. Who I know all the dogs in here, most of them, because, you know, you get acquainted with them after oh, yeah. a while. Yeah. And you, then you start to love them a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of people enjoy her, like, throwing the ball <laughs> Yes, Skittles, I'm glad to see you. Have have oh, Skittles is coming up. He oh, hears yeah. me praising him. Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow I'll bring some cookies out with peanut butter and you can get some good pictures of us. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, she right. said, okay. Oh, yeah, she, I, yeah, I said the magic word. I don't have All right. Well, anyway, I must say that my contribution to the Westward Ho was my grandson. And the residents would tell him, uh, he would be out climbing a tree and they'd say, Get down from that right now! And so he'd go, okay, okay. And then he liked to give the residents little packages, and when they'd open them, they'd say rattlesnake eggs. When they'd open them, they'd jump, because there'd be a rattle. And he thought that was so funny. I said, you might give these old ladies a heart attack, giving them rattlesnake eggs. And of course, when it came to flying kites, I wanted to fly kites more than he did. He just didn't care for flying kites. Oh my God, I don't know what this video is going to look like, but I think we have done, I may cover, have another upper, co covert operation under uh, and probably to check and see how we're coming with the dog situation being more, dogs being more important than humans. Bye.